get everybody know who it is. Man, is this one gonna be? It's gonna be one of those videos, man. A little story time real quick for y'all. So, uh, and and look, man, before I get into the story, right, I just want to give a little a little back, a little back story, right? This is the reason why I tell you guys that you have to, absolutely have to stay on your grind, bro. Just stay on your grind. Because these women, it's crazy. These women, these, these women, they're, they're not relationship minded, right? All these girls want to do is have fun. You know what I'm saying? Just like that one drag line says, all she want to do is get drunk and listen to party. That's all she want to do, bro. She want to go, she want to sleep around, she want to she wanna get drunk and just chill and smoke and all that stuff, right? Not all of them, right? But 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 a good a good piece of the women nowadays, that's all they want to do. So with that being said, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you about this story, man. So you guys know that I'm in the military, right? Or I was in the military, I should say, but this happened when I was in the military. So... You know, I'm from Texas, and obviously I had some, some girls back here in Texas, right, that I was talking to. Um, you know, they knew they knew the situation. They knew I was in the military, and, you know, uh, every once in a while I'd go home. You know, I'd go home, visit my family, and then, you know, get back to work. But, um, you know, this one time, I remember it was, it was this one chick that I was messing with, and... Uh, Man, look, I had been messing with this girl for a good minute, right? And it wasn't like anything serious. It was kind of just like a, you know, I come see you, we do our thing, and you know what I'm saying? I, I just, you know. Uh, plus she was she was younger than me, so it was it was kind of like she she I mean she had a job, but she didn't live on her own or anything. She lived with the family still, so you know she had to kind of sneak out. Uh, and like any little time she had, she she would and and any little time she had, and I was in town, she would go and she she spend some time with me and whatever, right? But anyway, man, I, I and and I don't really I don't talk to this girl no more. But it was uh it was at this moment where I knew this might be the end, right? This might be the end because she was getting crazy. Um, you know, I'm I'm texting her, and you know, I'm saying, yo, well, you know, I'm actually uh. I'm actually heading to Texas real soon here. So, you know, um, just pretty much letting her know that, you know, I'm, I'm about to come through and you know what I'm saying? So, um, I texted her, Hey, I'm, I'm coming to Texas real soon. And, um, you know, we, we got to, you know, sending some dirty texts, this and that. And, uh, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, she tells me, When we do it, you can't pull out. Straight up, bro. That's what she told me. She texted me that. She said, you can't pull out. And when I tell you, man, I don't get I don't get shaken up easily, right? But my heart was like, it, it, it skipped one beat. Just one. Just one. Because this girl straight up told me that, man. I couldn't believe it. This girl was so, I have never, I mean, I've seen some crazy stuff in my life, but I've never, I've never heard or seen a girl text the next time we do it or, or when we do it, when you come home, you can't pull out. It was so like, and man, I tell you, man. Of course I didn't listen to her. Of course I didn't listen to her. I stay strapped up, man. I you have to, fellas. Look, if you out here messing with a lot of girls, you have to stay stra strapped up. You have to. You can't be going around here like having babies and, and 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 being scared that you might have a baby. Like that's that's just that's just not cool, man. It's not cool. It's not cool. It's not cool. It's not cool. All right. So anyway, I come home. We do our thing. Strapped up, of course. And then I leave, right? I, I come back, or I go back to where I was stationed, which was in Tennessee at the time. Uh, 
And um, man, from that point on, man, it, it was it was kind of like a downhill spiral from there, to be honest with you, because it was like, she just got crazy, man. She started, you know, sending me like crazy texts, like, you know, I want a baby and, and, and how, how are we gonna raise a family if you keep leaving and things like that, man. And man, look, at one point, man, you gotta understand that as much as you try, you can't change somebody, right? Because that's what I thought I could do. I was like, no, nah, man, she's got to listen to me, you know, this and that, this and that. I, you know, we've been talking for a while. I just cut my ties, man. Because it was a... Uh, it wasn't going to happen. There was no way that I was going to have a kid with this girl, man. I was like... I was like 20... 223 maybe like I think I just had turned 22 and uh man I was not in no position to have a kid I didn't have I didn't have nothing man so I'm over here thinking yeah I mean the military is cool to have kids but I don't want to have kids and and now I have to stay in the military because I got to take care of this kid and now this chick that lives with me cuz she's not going to work so if I look, man, I'm just gonna say this. If I would have, if I would have done that, if if I would have listened, I always tell you, you got two heads. If I would have listened to this head down here and not with this head, I would I would have had a kid right now. I would not be here in front of you with this beard because I couldn't grow a beard in the military. I would not be here with this with this 90% beard because this is this is five percent. This is another five percent right here that I'm missing. So it's a 90% beard. I would not be here in front of you if I would have said yes to her. Right, because I would have my whole life would now have been just dedicated to taking care of her and the kid, man, and kids maybe. Because I, I mean, at that point, if I was like, you know what, man, if I had one, I might as well have another one. I want to have kids when, when in a few years, man, I, but not right now, not right now, no sir, no, 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 no sir. But that's what I'm saying, man, is, is, and, and look, man, to this day, right? So I say, man, I'm not just talking out of my ass here. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you what I've lived. To this day, that girl still texts me. Hey, just, just want to know if you're good. Hope you're doing good. Hey, wish we could catch up, have some lunch sometime. My pre-workout man i'm right outside the gym but uh i'm being i'm being completely 100 with you man stay on your grind and and the world is yours straight up but that's it for today man i'll see you on the next one